Hi everybody, uh, this is the Richard and Judy Book Club in association with WH Smith. And I guess, well, the summer, what there was of it is over, the nights are drawing in, and we've got ten fantastic reads for you this autumn. Yes, and as usual, we have uh, lots of exclusive bonus material at the back of each book that you purchase exclusively at WH Smith. We've got question and answer sessions with the author, we've got their inspirations. And also, don't forget to look out for our latest podcast series on iTunes. And something absolutely brand new for the autumn, we've got a book club app. You simply download it to your smartphone. When you go into WH Smith, you point the phone, switch it on, of course, point the phone at uh, the book you're thinking of buying in our list, and up will pop on the screen. Richard and Judy will talk to you personally. We'll give you a personal review of the book that we hope you'll buy, and we can guarantee they're all really good reads. Yeah. Uh, also new for this autumn um, is our weekly newsletters, which you can read by simply going to our website. So let's get started. Uh, here's the first book. It's by Hannah Richell. It's called Secrets of the Tides. Yes, this is a, a sweeping family saga, really. It's about a, a family which should have been happy. They had everything. They had a beautiful house called Cliff Tops in Dorset and a lovely idyllic life, uh, husband, wife, three children. Um, and something happened, something tragic happened to that family which splintered them apart. The book begins um, much later on than this tragedy. Dora, who is one of the daughters, is grown up now and she's pregnant by her boyfriend Dan. She's very happy. She should be happy to be pregnant. But there's something in the family history, uh, a tragic incident, which stops her being able to enjoy her pregnancy. So she goes back home to Clifftops in Dorset to confront her mother, who's been estranged from her for years. It's a fascinating story and uh, unfortunately Hannah Ritchell, the author, couldn't be with us. Uh, but we did ask her these questions earlier. I write for probably the same reason that other people paint pictures or knit. I do it because it gives me great pleasure. And I love the process of having an idea and then trying to find the right words to translate it onto the page. The writing process has changed enormously since when I first started writing. Initially it was something I was squeezing into the cracks while I was on maternity leave um, with my baby. So whenever he slept I would race to the desk and write. Now I'm writing a second story, I'm being much more disciplined and I sit down at the desk every day and get some words down. And I find for me it helps to have a structure and a knowledge of where I'm roughly heading but I don't like to be too rigid and I like there to be a certain amount of fluidity so that I can explore new ideas as they come to me as I'm writing. The idea for Secrets of the Tides really came from my own journey into motherhood. It was a time for me of great joy and love having a baby but also great fear and vulnerability as well. And so it was really the idea of starting my own family that got me thinking about the bonds that connect families and how strong they can be, but also how incredibly fragile too, and how one moment can come along and change everything. So that was really the starting point for me with the novel. The best piece of advice I've been given about writing is just to make the time and get those words down on the page. And it doesn't matter if they're not the right words first time, but just get them down and then you've got something to work from. And it's about being kind to yourself too and enjoying the journey. As an author, I think it's absolutely vital to read. I wouldn't be a writer now if it hadn't been for all those books I've read and loved myself. And to be honest, there's nothing more inspiring than reading a great book because it just makes me want to be a better writer. While I was writing the first draft of Secrets of the Tides, I got very tangled up in the structure and I reached a point about halfway through where I couldn't really see a way forwards and I was losing heart with it. But there was one scene that I was really itching to write and that was right at the end of the book. I wanted to write the resolution. So I cheated in a way and I jumped forwards and I wrote that scene and it actually released the block because it gave me a target to work towards and, and for me that was a really good trick. It's very hard for me to choose a favourite character of Secrets of the Tides because 
The way I wrote it, I have three central female characters and they each have their own chapters. So I spent time with each of them getting inside their heads. And now to choose one of them over the others would feel like a bit of a betrayal. But I suppose if I'm looking at it more from who I would like to be from the book, I would probably choose to be Bill Dryden, who's the, the elderly man. He's the gardener who works in the family estate. And he's a lovely guy. And I've always had a secret fantasy to be a gardener. So I'd probably choose to be him. I wish I could say that I had a, an enormous sense of um, joy at completing Secrets of the Tides, but there was never that moment where I typed the end at the end of a page and, and felt like it was finished. There was always the, the rewriting and the redrafting, and then even once I'd found a publisher, there was the editing process to go through. So I never quite knew if it was finished, and that moment when the, the finished copy came through the door and I held it in my hands for the first time, it was an amazing feeling, but it was also quite terrifying. And um, the only person in the house with me at the time was my son. And I was jumping up and down and showing him the book. And he brought me straight back down to earth when he lost interest within two minutes when he realized there were no dinosaurs in the story. It's an amazing feeling to see my story on bookshelves now and to see it in WH Smith where I used to go with my grandparents to spend my pocket money is an unbelievable feeling and it's amazing to be part of this Rich and Judy promotion amongst authors who I've long admired. Thanks Hannah. Yeah. Well it really is a, a very interesting family saga book with a huge twist at the end, mm. well worth waiting for.